ఎక్కడికి వెళ్ళాలనుకుంటున్నారు it is inaugurated by honorable prime minister of our nation narendra modi ji dr j kishan oja sir so one and only institution is uh, organizing uh, established the first uh, course integrated teacher education program in telangana state that is government degree college degree and pg college rakshatpet so today we are go- uh, we would like to invite all the dignitaries and the uh, all the participants and all the faculty members and uh, uh, principal sirs and lecturers uh, now i would like to invite uh, apurva madam lecturer in english itep integrated teacher education program department of education gdc lakshad pet madam please welcome and uh, unmute yourself and start the session thank you sir thank you so much sir i am audible yes you are audible Good morning to all. And first of all, I thank Dr. Padalati Professor for taking good initiative to arrange this program and making me a part of it. Thank you, sir. And I heartily welcome to this session of one day national webinar on climate resilience and environmental justice at the perspective 2024. So the theme of our today's 2024 is planet versus plastic. So. promote recycling and a responsible disposal and sustainable alternatives so first of all in this regard i welcome today's our chief patron dr vai satyanarayan sir garu principal gdc gomes jagitya onto this platform welcome sir next i welcome one more chief patron dr j kishan oja sir principal of gdc lakshmi welcome sir And next, I welcome today's keynote speaker, Dr. Surya Prakash G. Ponam Sardaru, Assistant Professor in the Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, Tejpur University, Napam, Assam. And uh, next, I welcome the co-patron for this event, HOD of Zorgi, Dr. A. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam Garu, Associate Professor and uh, Green Audit Cell Convener, Government Degree College, Women's Jagitya. Next, I welcome Sir G. Chandraya Sir Garu, Assistant Professor and uh, HOD of Botany, Jagitya, Government Degree uh, College, Women's Jagitya. Welcome, Sir. Next, I welcome Sri Mati K. Savita Madam Garu, Assistant Professor of Botany and uh, also IQSC Coordinator for Government Degree College, Lakshik Pet. And next, I welcome Convener for this event, Dr. Padala Tirpati Sir Garu, and Assistant Professor of Botany, Government Degree College, Women's Jagitya, and also Coordinator for ITEP, Integrated Teacher Education Program, Department of Education, GDC Lakshadweep. Next, I welcome to Kandwani, Dr. K. Kiranmai Madam Garu, Assistant Professor of Zoology, GDC Women's Jagitya. Welcome, Madam. And, uh, once again, I welcome all the dignitaries to this platform and I welcome the faculty members from various colleges and uh, from different states and also the students from different colleges. So let us move into the program. So firstly, I invite Dr. Y. Satyanarayana Sir Garu, Principal of uh, GDC Women's College, so, uh, to address this session. Over to you, Sir. Dr. Y. Satyanarayana Sir Garu. సత్యనారాయణ సార్ మేడం సార్ జ్యోతిలక్ష్మి మేడం 
सारे उधर अमित ओके मैडम प्लीज प्रोसीड सार्विल जैन लेटर मैडम अपुरो मैडम प्लीज अनबिट योर सेल्फ एंड प्लीज प्रोसीड थैंक यू सर सो नेक्स्ट इट्स माय हॉनर टू इनवाइट आवर इंडियन डायनामिक पर्सनालिटी ऑफ जीडीसी लक्ष्मी के डॉक्टर जे किशन रोजा सर टू एड्रेस दिस सेशन ओवर टू यू सर थैंक यू मैडम नमस्कार एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल Professor Tan Sir, uh, pattern uh, for this program, uh, Principal Government Degree College, uh, Women Jagatyal, a respected uh, keynote speaker, Surya Prakash Ji Ponam, uh, from Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, Central University Tejpur, uh, convener of this program, Padal Tripat Sir, uh, ITEP coordinator uh, at Government Degree College, Lakshad Pet, uh, uh, Jyoti Lakshmi Madam. Uh, co pattern for this program from gdc women jagatyal chandra sir uh, kiran mai madam uh, uh, savita madam from uh, organizing committee as well as uh, the co patterns for this program uh, distinguished faculty members from gdc women jagatyal and from government degree college uh, lakshad pet our respected distinguished uh, participants from uh, different states students i heartily welcome you all to this uh, national webinar on a very important and meaningful uh, topic climate resilience <coughs> and environmental justice so we know uh, how important the climate issues are now why because we are facing the issues now so i remember uh, when i was in school so we used to see in uh, what's the quiz questions the earth summit and all these things but we were not aware how the impact would be but today we are experiencing the impacts yes so recently if you see the extreme heat waves if you see the floods in some places if you see the volcanoes at some places uh, cyclones okay so uh, okay if you leave the volcanoes if you see the cyclones if you see the extreme temperatures so all this we know these are the effects of uh, climate change so it's uh, the time uh, to wake up and to do something for the environment okay uh, so again if we see the what's a uh, united nations agenda 2030 Uh, we know we have the 17 sdgs sustainable uh, sustainable development goals so out of that i think most of the sdgs they speak about the climate and environment yes even, even if you speak about the uh, what's a food scarcity hunger no hunger no poverty uh, sustainable development if you see the life on earth life on water and again we have one sdg 13 which is totally dedicated to climate action so that's the importance so i am very happy that uh, Uh, Padal Tripat sir had come up with such a uh, what's a uh, novel and uh, very important uh, issue, and I thank heartily thank uh, uh, Surya Prakash sir for sparing time. Uh, why? Because no, I know he comes from a very uh, premier institute. Uh, it's a uh, Tejpur University, Central University. Uh, so he had given time uh, to all of us uh, for this national webinar. So I, on behalf of all the what's a organizing committee members. i convey my heartfelt thanks to suri prakash sir and i again thank uh, the uh, yeah, participants for for uh, what's uh, being with us uh, because we know because of some issues we were late so they were patient enough to stay with us uh, so i hope uh, we will come up with some good outcome and we have to act now i request all the participants who comes from different institutes so we have to done, uh, do something uh, we have to show some change why because Uh, writing on papers uh, will not suffice we have to act now so that the coming generations uh, they won't suffer uh, why because you see number of allergies if you see the health issues wherever you see there is a cough cold and uh, what's up your uh, um issues with uh, infections and all this is happening why because the ultimate or the reason behind is i think it's the uh, climate effects the pollution allergies yes so we have to act now so i thank you all for giving me a chance to speak this a uh, thank you tripa sir thank you thank you very much uh, you have just did all the activities uh, that we have done in the past and also the sdgs and mdgs thank you sir so next i invite uh, dr 
to the co-patron for this event, Dr. H. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam Gari, to address this event. Over to you, Madam. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam, please unmute yourself. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam Gar. Please unmute yourself. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. As Ojya sir said, it is the right time to arrange, uh, organize this uh, seminar to inculcate awareness among the participants, uh, which is very much needed nowadays. And we all know that uh, how the pollution is affecting the health and uh, 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 destroying our natural resources. So uh, I wholeheartedly invite our keynote speaker to enlighten our uh, participants, sir. So thank you, sir, for the, giving this opportunity. And please go ahead. Thank you, madam. Thank you for addressing this event. And uh, next, I welcome uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Sriji Chandrayasayargari, Assistant Professor of Mathu. Uh, 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 over to you, sir. Please uh, speak to few words about this event. Uh, madam, please proceed. Chandrayasayar is also unavailable. Uh, sir will join with us later. Please proceed. Uh, Okay, next I invite uh, Srimati Sri Savita Madam Gari to speak few words about this event. Okay, Madam Savita Madam is also uh, due to uh, her uh, personal work, uh, she is not able to join with us. So please proceed. Okay, sir. Okay, okay so next I will invite uh, the conveyor of this event, Dr. Kalara Tipati sir. Gauru to address this event. The screen is visible, madam? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, very good morning uh, to all the dignitaries and today's keynote speakers, respected uh, uh, patterns of uh, this uh, national webinar. Uh, Dr. Vice Satinarayana, sir, my principal, GDCW Jagitya, and also uh, one of the patron, uh, Dr. Jaikishan Oja, sir, principal. Government degree and PG college accepted, uh, and uh, co patrons of this uh, webinar and uh, organizing committee members, all the dignitaries, uh, hearty welcome. So, within two minutes, I will sum up uh, my uh, report. So, before uh, going to start this session, I would like to present the entire uh, this uh, from COVID onwards till today, what we are uh, organizing from these uh, uh, institutions, um, very few seconds I will uh, conclude. So this is a government institution, it is the Chadula Kovela. Uh, because of uh, our faculty members and uh, by the uh, valuable suggestions and guidance given by the principal, Dr. Vice Satyanarayana sir, our admissions has uh, gradually increased. And also the all the seats are filled with the uh, meritorious students. They are joined with us and also hostel facilities is also uh, uh, available in our uh, government college, degree college women uh, prim uh, premises within the campus. So that's why all the students are benefited and also uh, they are enjoy with their uh, education aspects. So uh, from COVID onwards, COVID onwards, um, our government degree college for women, Jagityal, uh, is conducted uh, various uh, uh, webinars from 2019 COVID onwards. So this is the first national webinar conducted uh, in 2019, uh, 2020 May uh, due to uh, the Corona or COVID time. So uh, eminent psychologist is interacted with our uh, students. More than 2000 participants, they are registered at that time. So at that time, uh, my government degree college women principal sir 
Dr. Mallaram Srinivas Reddy, sir, he is a young and dynamic personality and who always uh, cooperate with um, me and also encourage, uh, organize uh, such a wonderful webinars. So this is the second national webinar, uh, Biotechnological Applications for the Conservation of Biodiversity. Eminent professors from Department of Botany, Kakati University, Varangal, Professor Sureka, Madam, Professor Mustafa, sir, and my godfather, my teacher, my professor, my supervisor, Dr. T. Christopher Rubin, uh, these three uh, are participated this webinar and also enlightened us. And the third national webinar, it is uh, from the, the chief guest from our uh, CC at that time, 2020, August 2nd, uh, chief guest, Dr. P. Balabaskar Garu, AGO, CCE Hyderabad. Now he is also uh, in the uh, position. So, Sar is the chief guest and uh, uh, the guest of honor, uh, Kadaru Surendari, Dr. Kadaru Surendari Digaru, uh, TGCGTA uh, General Secretary, our association, dynamic leader. So, they are uh, uh, promoted us. And the keynote speaker, resource persons from uh, the uh, Telangana University, Dichpal in Nizambad. Uh, Professor B. Vidyavardini Madam and Dr. Ahmed Abdul Halim Khan, sir. So, both the professors, they are joined in this uh, third national webinar uh, in the uh, topic that is the recent trends in plant sciences, and we are very much of enlightened. The fourth national webinar, this is related to uh, women empowerment, especially um, uh, Dr. Lata Perka Madam Garu, head department of botany, uh, Giriraj Government College, Nizambad. Madam has joined. Uh, and enlighten us. And this is the, uh, uh, I hope you are all identified, the eminent personality, eminent professor uh, during pandemic situation, the second wave, the corona second wave has come on that time. Uh, professor uh, Surya Prakashji Purnamgaru uh, joined with us and enlightened with us, full of joy, entertainment, and the one of the uh, topic, the great topic that is genome editing technologies, principles and applications. One of the best topic uh, uh, we are uh, chosen, Sarah has enlightened. This topic has chosen by our Professor Surya Prakash Ji Punamgaru. So we are very much uh, thankful to him. And at uh, same time, Sarah has uh, joined with us after one year. Actually, uh, the uh, April 16th, this is the April 17th, 2021, uh, Sarah has enlightened us. Uh, actually, 17th time, uh, 17th day, I asked him, sir. But sir has very busy with the uh, election duty because of uh, the Assam. The first phase of election has conducted successfully completed by our Surya Prakash Ji Ponam, sir. So that's why today we are uh, joined with him once again. So thanks a lot, sir. So uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, fifth national webinar and the sixth national webinar. Uh, that is uh, on uh, IPR, the uh, Telangana Buddha Bida, we know that, and uh, Surya Prakashji Ponam sir also, and the um, Togapur, Mahabubnagar district, Palamuru district, uh, Togapur Pavan Kumar sir has uh, joined with us and enlightened with us. The topic is an overview of IPR uh, importance and uh, impact of patents. Uh, is very, very uh, eminent personality re regarding of this IPR. Uh, from Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha, senior scientist, he has uh, joined with us. Just because of the corona or COVID-19, we are conducted such a uh, programs, uh, wonderful programs related to science and technology, biology. Uh, so, and uh, the seventh national webinar uh, from um, Professor da uh, A. Vijay Bhaskar Edisar, Department of Botany, Usman University, Hyderabad. Two days, this uh, webinar conducted uh, two days, uh, that is uh, 10th May and 11th May. These two days we are conducted. Two days are has given full time and enlightened us. And the eighth national webinar, again, the psychologist has come. Why? Because so many young uh, people and young personalities, they have lost their lives due to the uh, corona, the afraid of the COVID-19 corona. So that's why the SAR has uh, come over, come over, and uh, uh, join with us and enlighten us. And the next ninth national webinar, it is especially for the the non-teaching uh, staff and uh, 
uh, at the time only non teaching staff has uh, come to the all offices and academic uh, uh, faculties professors and lecturers uh, work from their uh, work from home and continue their services but non teaching uh, staff they are not able to unable to work from home they must come to offices so that's why so how to immune how to uh, improve immune immunity so just because of some of the medicinal plants we are uh, interacted with uh, the uh, non teaching staff and the next 10th national webinar is organized on the uh, occasion of the yoga international yoga day so that is 23rd june 2021 uh, one of the eminent professor uh, department of zoology uh, professor istari mamidala from kakatiya university sir has enlightened us and the next 11th national webinar uh, it is collaboration with uh, uh, government degree college gorutla uh, principal uh, dr neeli vasavi madam garu along with my principal dr malaram srinivas reddy garu so both of they are uh, interested to conduct uh, this webinar uh, on the uh, the webinar convener uh, the one of the eminent personality dr k rajaram who uh, academic uh, media in charge of rajbhavan governor uh, media personal in charge uh, at the time uh dr k rajaram sir enlightened with us and the 26 january republic day indian scenario uh, dr katagani ravinder garu uh, assistant professor of political science has enlightened uh, 2022 uh, january 26 and uh, my professor has uh, joined one of the emerging technologies that emerging trends in green and yellow red biotechnologies uh, the collaboration with raja bahadur venkatram reddy autonomous women's degree college from hyderabad uh, next uh, this uh, next uh, next webinar it is uh, organized on ipr in 2022 by uh, dr a kavita madam garu rbvr women's college uh, department of botany and uh, 2022 may 6 uh, national webinar organized this is uh, a 15th national webinar organized on ipr because of ipr is one of the uh, emerging and most important topics so that's why my principal guidance and suggestion and also iqac coordinator also uh, in, uh, interested to uh, support me and encourage me to conduct this webinar uh, dr b gayatri associate professor of computer science bisap eber college trichurapalli tamil nadu madam has enlightened wonderfully uh, she is a dynamic professor and interact with uh, uh, our participants and next national webinar 2022 june on the occasion of international yoga day uh, yoga guru uh, ragu guru ji is enlightened uh, with us uh, with the help of uh, with the suggestion of our dr vai satyanarayana sir and next national webinar is conducted on the recent trends in molecular biology this uh, is collaboration with uh, government degree college gambiro pet rajana sirisila district uh the eminent professor dr vaja maduri krishna university machli patnam uh, madam has uh, wonderful presented uh, the molecular biology topic and at the same time the seasonal diseases uh, the skin diseases also raised due to the uh, some of the uh, allergic conditions so that's why we are also condition uh, organized seasonal diseases winter season skin diseases uh, topic uh, from Uh, professor dr k v sridevi assistant professor dermatology venerology leprology from gunturu medical college madam has enlightened uh, with us and the next national webinar is organized on the 75 years of independence day our our, our sacred nation azadi ka amrit mahotsav uh, this uh, on this occasion we are organized this uh, topic uh, the keynote speaker dr kodur sivani assistant professor nss coordinator shatavana university uh, madam has enlightened us and next national webinar is organized uh, the 21st century teacher role and responsibility problems and prospects uh, by uh, dr uh, d chakrapani garu retired ias intermediate uh, former commission of intermediate education uh, unified ap andhra pradesh so sir has wonderfully interacted with all the participants and also posed number of questions and interacted with us and next national webinar 
is organized by our department of botany and the collaboration with rbr romains college that is applications of recombinant dna technology by uh, our uh, dynamic my professor my uh, supervisor uh, dr christopher rubin sir department of botany kakti university warangal along with the the 21st uh, 21 national webinars we are organized different programs in our college by the uh, suggestion of our honorable principal dr y satyanarayana sir so this is about uh, uh, the gdc w jagithyal at the same time uh, last year 2023 uh, we are organized in our college uh, 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 the training program for presiding officers and assistant presiding officers in our college uh, uh, by the suggestion of our honorable uh, today's patron dr y satyanarayana sir in our college uh shrimati shek yashmin basha madam gar is collector of jagithyal is uh, supported and the conducted this uh, program in our college and this year 2023 24 this is a 22nd national webinar by the uh, with the collaboration of uh, the government degree college lakshadweep and government degree college for women jagithyal both the colleges department of botany and the women empowerment cell is organized this uh, to inspire inclusion role of women 21st century this is a 22nd national webinar uh, by the uh, supporting of our honorable both the college principals dr vai satyanarayana sir and a young dynamic personality dr jay kishan oja sir uh, this a keynote speaker dr v sarita rani madam garu assistant professor coordinator for women empowerment cell and the department of chemistry gdc nirmal has enlightened us and this is one of the national workshop has conducted uh, in the itep integrated integrated teacher education program just because of the grace of uh, honorable principal dr jay kishan oja sir uh, has uh, uh, interacted with uh, the uh, the resource person and also the uh, um, professor uh, wg prasanna kumar sir senior scientist for uh, our telangana state pollution control board sir has written a letter and request later and also immediately sanction 50000 for the uh, supported by this organizing this uh, national workshop in the uh, department of integrated teacher integrated department of education integrated teacher education program uh, i am the convener uh, by the uh, suggestion of our honorable principal dr jay kishan oja sir and also this national workshop is also uh, uh, entered in the uh, one of the Mm, uh, the telangana state pollution control board newsletter in the month of april so this uh, this is the some of the glimpses some of the uh, photos we are observed in this uh, uh, brochure and also this uh, this ppt uh, and also the gdc lakshadweep has also organized number of programs and also the number of new uh, Uh, innovative programs also and flagship programs also conducted uh, by the uh, visionary principal dr jay kishan oja sir this is clean godavari campaign by the students of lakshadweep nss program officer uh, dr k uh, dr m kumar swami garu uh, and uh, along with our principal sir uh, and nss volunteers also involved in each and every year they are involved with this clean uh, swachh godavari our our sacred godavari because of this is very nearer to the uh, lakshadweep and also uh, the uh, all the uh, teach, uh, one of the uh, greatest uh, uh, aspects i observed in the gdc lakshadweep each and every uh, faculty members uh, birthday they are celebrating officially by the uh, principal uh, dr jay kishan oja sir so these are the some of the uh, glimpses regarding of both the colleges so now i am very much of thankful to a keynote speaker resource person my friend because of in 2020 uh, 19 mm -hmm. i participated uh, the uh, refresher uh, course uh, in the uh, usman university so i am uh, very lucky because of the professor surya prakash ji ponam sir has uh, one of friendly nature kind hearted and very eminent personality regarding of this uh, content especially the clarity of the content and very a uh, time sensely very humor humor and humanistic approach so that's why i am very happy and thankful to uh, professor uh, surya prakash ji ponam sir hearty welcome sir and also 
I am very much uh, thankful to the today's patrons of both the colleges and co-patrons of the programs, uh, and also the all the organizing committee and all the participants. Uh, this is the uh, few, uh, few uh, points regarding of my side. I am thankful to each and everyone. Uh, Apuro Madam Garu, please proceed. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We have just briefed about all the activities we have done in the past and whatever we are going to do, which is uh, series in the future. So now I welcome the dedicated and hardworking personality, Dr. K. Kiranmai Madam Garu, to address this event. And uh, I also request Madam to please introduce about today's keynote speakers, brief biodata. Over to you, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Good morning, friends. Is it audible to everyone? So, Tirpati, sir, is it audible, sir? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Please proceed. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving opportunity. Good morning, friends. Myself, Dr. K. Kiran Mai, Assistant Professor Zoology, GDC Women's, J. Githyal. Respected faculty members, research scholars, and my dear students. Today is one day national webinar on climate uh, resilience and environmental justice at today perspective 2024. We all know that tomorrow is the 22nd of uh, April is the actually a day celebration, but earlier we are celebrating this on the national day seminar. So this is organized by Department of Education, Botany, Zoology, NSSL, Green Audit Cell and Education, sir, also just earlier I told you, Government College for Women, Jagikya, and Government College Degree and PG College, Lakshetpet, Telangana. It gives me an immense pleasure to introduce and welcome today's keynote speaker, Honorable Dr. Surya Prakash Gaud Ponam, sir, Assistant Professor, Grade 3, Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, Tej Food University. So this is an opportunity to me to second time. This is the second time I introduce you, sir. This is really a great honor to you. That uh, Tirpati, sir, also I want to thank Tirpati, sir. It's the second time I'm introducing you, sir. So here, uh, just a small brief introduction about the, sir. Already I spoke a word, good word. This is not the good word because if you are staying in the Nepal, no, uh, sorry, you are staying in Assam, no, sir. So people don't know about the Telangana, but you are one of the representative of the Assam, that is the Telangana Mudubida. So most of the people, those who are staying in the outside, so with your uh, hardworking nature, with your efficiency, with your knowledge, with, with, uh, with your scientific Temper, you're uh, spreading the fragments of the Telangana. So, briefly, just I want to uh, tell about the sir, qualifications, sir, education. So, here, sir, com sir has completed his graduation in the year 2002, that is the Usmania University, and also completed, sir, uh, MSc in the 2004 from the University of Hyderabad. In the year 2011, sir has awarded PhD from the L.V. Prasad I institution. So sir is received so many honors and the so many awards. So here, when I went to the Wikipedia, it is a lengthy, lengthy, lengthy Wikipedia. It is hard to me to shortenize, but even though I try to shortenize because the uh, today's keynote speaker has to give the most of the time, but even though I try, so, sir, uh, awardee, if you go to the 2004, he received the Junior Research Fellowship, that is ICMR Government of India. In the year 2005, Junior Fellowship CSIR HRDC Government of India. In the year 2006, sign, Senior Research Fellowship CSIR HRDC. DG Government of India. In the year 2008, Best Scientific Poster Award at IERG at Indian Research Group held at Madurai, Tamil Nadu. In the year 2015, Overseas Associateship Department of Biotechnology Government of India. In the year 2019, Early Career Research Award, this is a rare award, so it has received, that is the ECR, CERB DST, that's the government of India. Sir also guided the doctoral thesis in the year that is the 2022 molecular genetic analysis of keratoconus patients from Assam, India. 
the the, the student is uh, mrs mrigayanta chakravarti tejpur university i as my knowledge most of the assam people were affected with the keratoconus a small cone shape is appear in the as, as my knowledge so sir is uh, serving so many people in the assam so that's why he published so many publications and also so many funding also and he also membership in the professional bodies in the 2014 indian academy of medical genetic associate life member also the indian society in the same year that is a, he is a member of the the indian society of the human genetics life member he is also life member of the the society of the biological chemists he is a, a membership in the committees that is a departmental of the advisory committee member and the board of the study members so here so many uh, projects uh, sir under the uh, chairmanship of the of the sir that is the in the 2019 to 22 2017 to 22 2019 to 21 so here it is a one project the major project that is the funded by the department of science and technology 45 lakhs 94 lakhs of the uh, project that is the in vitro studies to investigate the therapeutic approach of the editing the defective exon 3 of the human cgst6 gene associated with the macular corneal dystrophy through the cri spr cas9 technology so another 65 lakhs 10 lakhs 65.10 that is the diagnosis of the immunopathogenesis of dengue virus infection a longitudinal investigation into genotype diversity diagnosis and immune response to dengue infection in assam northern east india so another project that is the 15.98 lakhs project sir has completed so here that that is the studies on genetic and epigenetic alternation on keratoconus patients from assam india so the funding agencies department of the biotechnology sir has attended so many seminars so many workshops so from since 2006 to 2024 till also in this year so sir attended so many seminars so here if you see the 2006 presented a scientific poster on the 7th annual meeting in the 2006 also he attended the workshop titled that is a good clinical practice so that is a lb prasad institution it is in uh, telangana so presented the free paper conference titled genomic in the 2007 in, in the same year he also attended the i research group held during the 28 to 29 to july that is a 2007 in the year 2008 he presented a poster genetic and health and disease in the same year he also uh, presented a poster that is the indian eye research group that is a 17th annual meeting he also uh, attended the seminar that is the uh, ar arvo asia the association of the research vision on ophthalmology so here and in the 2011 we attended the two workshop in the year 2012 2012 he attended the two workshop that is the one is the dst inspired internship science camp and another one is the a tool for the proteomics held on the 22nd of the june in the two, 2012 sir has attended so many seminars it is not possible to read all the seminars so so many seminars in the 2012 so 2013 he talks is he is a speaker on the invited molecular biology techniques in the resource person in the um, uh, application bio application in the biological sciences in the 2013 he attended uh, so many workshop in the 2013 also so here if we go to the 2014 Fourteen to till now, he attended so many, many, many workshop. And thank you, sir, for giving opportunity to speak a legendary personality, today's keynote speaker. Thank you for giving opportunity, sir. And welcome to over to Tripathi, sir. It's one again. Once again, I'm very thankful to introduce you, sir. Good morning, sir. Welcome to this session, sir. Welcome, sir. thank you very much madam this is a wonderful time so sara has joined with us twice dr k kiranmai madam also introduced the eminent personality in twice 
so that is the our time on the occasion of world earth day 2000 uh, 20 uh, 22 april we are uh, organizing this webinar so made, uh, sir uh, please welcome and start your session sir uh, sorry for the delay because of this is the time what we are organized and what you are so that is my motto and our participants are very enthusiastically waiting for your session sir please welcome and share your screen sir so uh, before i actually start the presentation uh, let me actually uh, take a little time of yours uh, thanks for this wonderful uh, you know introduction that i have got from the same person who has already uh, introduced me to the audience last year as well but uh, let me formally begin with by saying uh, it is a great opportunity and uh, for me to deliver a talk to your students and your colleagues and uh, you know it is uh, i would like to thank uh, uh, the patrons uh, the two patrons dr jay kishan oja sir and uh, Sri Y. Satmarayan Garu, the principals of government degree colleges at Lakshadipet and uh, uh, Jagityal, respectively. And it has been really great uh, to, to come back to you again and deliver a lecture. Uh, so before uh, again moving into my topic, I would like to also thank, thank the co-patron, Dr. A. Vijay Lakshmi Garu, uh, Jyoti Lakshmi Garu, uh, Dr. G. Chandraya Garu, uh, uh, Srimati P. Savita Garu, who is also the head of the Department of Botany, and uh, the co convener Dr. K. Kiran Mai Garu uh, from the Department of Zoology, and uh, the convener, the most important person, whom I could not say no because on the very first day of the new year of Telugu, uh, Telugu New Year Ugadi, he called me and wished me, and he slowly pulled me into this uh, little. <laughs> Uh, talk actually uh, because I was really uh, a bit hesitant in the beginning for the simple reason that we I was being appointed as the presiding officer for the election and uh, 1920 has been uh, I mean, it's been really hectic we had an election and then I came back and it's uh, you know you know how elections happen and you know the kind of stress that we go through so uh, let's not getting it uh, get into that but uh, uh, <clears throat> I would like to uh, also thank Apurva Madam Garu, uh, Apurva Munukunda, who has been very, uh, Munukuntla, who has been very gentle and very patiently introducing everybody and trying to put the sequences in order so that people don't run away from the talk and also keep uh, the people steadfast in their natures. Yeah. So I really appreciate the way that you have been doing. Uh, so with this little introduction uh, and um, finally, uh, if not formally, uh, informally, I could never say no to Tirupati Garu, who is a very wonderful person and the kind of work that he is actually doing at his college is really commendable. You know, more than 10 or 20 webinars and uh, different, uh, you know, workshops and talks and arranging arranging people, getting them on board and uh, get keeping the college in limelight. It's not an easy task because unless you have a personal connection with somebody, Nobody would come to deliver a talk. This is my simple understanding. Yeah, and he is such a good gentleman who is keeping a long relationship with a lot of people. And that's making people to actually come back to this fora and share their wisdom with the people, students and everybody on board. So with this little introduction, I would like to uh, uh, come to the topic which I was supposed to uh, deliver. So uh, I think the host has disabled uh, my screen sharing. So if yes. you allow me only, then I can do that. Yes. So, yeah, it's still showing host disassembled uh, attendee screen sharing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in the meantime, I would like to also tell you guys that uh, let me be very honest. I am a humble, humble geneticist who is trying to learn a bit of piece of genetics and molecular genetics. Uh, uh, you know, and this topic is very new to me. I should really thank uh, Tirupati Garu for putting me in this spot uh, and uh, asking me to take this lecture because this topic, uh, had he not been there, I would have never gone into this topic and studied much about it. I, I knew what the content of the lectures are, but then, you know, uh, you, know you know, having an insight into it is really a difficult, uh, you know, this thing. So, Tirupati Garu, are you able to see my screen? 
yes yes sir yes sir please uh, uh, yes is this yes, fine sir. it is clearly visible sir please proceed yeah. so i hope it is clearly visible and uh, audible uh, because i am in full screen and i am not able to see you by any chance if you have any issue with my presentation or the content of the lecture stop feel free to stop me and interrupt me so that i can actually get back to the topic and uh, you know we can discuss it in a different way okay yeah so what we will be trying to speak today is what is uh, the topic that was assigned to me is environmental resilience and environmental justice so environmental resilience and environmental just, uh, justice are two two way big topics to handle honestly so i will try to just give a glimpse of what these topics are considering the students uh, here and uh, i will be more than happy to learn from you guys because honestly i am not an expert in this area of research but since uh, dr tirupati has asked me to deliver a deliver a talk on this topic i am here to share my knowledge whatever is available to me and it is because of him that i have gone into this subject and learned a bit which i am trying to share it with you and apologies if i am wrong anywhere or if i have gone uh, off the topic or if i have really not uh, you know communicated the way that i am supposed to communicate well so what exactly is environmental resilience environmental resilience ante enti if i am allowed to speak in telugu because the audience mostly are people in telugu so here and there i will be trying to speak actually in telugu so that uh, people may understand but i will stick to english uh, as my uh, coordinator has instructed me to yeah so environmental uh, resilience is uh, basically how do you actually Uh, you know cope up with an environmental calamity or a danger see environmental resilience refers to the capacity of ecosystems communities and societies to withstand and recover, recover from environmental changes or disturbances in a nutshell oka prakruti vaiparityam jarigina tarvata manam ela danni ela manam aa prakruti vaiparityam tarvata మనం మన జీవన స్థాయి శైలిని పునరుద్ధించుకోవడం అనేది ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ మనకు చెప్తుంది సో హౌ డూ యూ యాక్చువల్లీ కీప్ అప్ ఆర్ హౌ డూ యూ యాక్చువల్లీ బ్రింగ్ అప్ ఆర్ ద కెపాసిటీ ఇన్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఎకోసిస్టమ్స్ కానివ్వండి కమ్యూనిటీస్ కానివ్వండి సొసైటీస్ కానివ్వండి ఎలా విత్స్టాండ్ చేయాలి అండ్ హౌ డూ యూ యాక్చువల్లీ రికవర్ ఫ్రమ్ దాట్ సిస్టమ్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ ద ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ టీచర్స్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఇన్వాల్వ్స్ firstly how do you adapt how do you adapt to certain changing conditions while maintaining the essentiality and the functions of a basic community ante manadi manamu ela minor modifications cheskovali ee minor modifications cheskuntu prakruti vaiparityalani tattukune shaktini gaani aina tarvata manam ela recoup kavali ane nerchukodame environmental resilience anamata so why should we study or what are the major uh, important factors or the what is the importance of environmental resilience is what i am trying to tell now so environmental resilience is crucial for sustaining biodiversity ensuring ecosystem services and supporting human well being well being ante mana mana biodiversity ni kaapadukodaniki mana vanalu vanya pranalu mana jeevana shaili మన ప్రకృతి మన జనాభాని మన లైఫ్ స్టైల్ ని కాపాడుకోవడానికి మనం నేర్చుకోవాలి ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రిజిలియన్స్ గురించి ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ ఈకోసిస్టమ్ సర్వీసెస్ కానివ్వండి లేకుంటే హ్యూమన్ వెల్బీయింగ్ కోసం ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ అనేది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇట్ హెల్ప్స్ మిటిగేట్ ద ఎంపాక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ నో పర్ఫెక్ట్లీ ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ వాట్ యూ కెన్ డూ ఇస్ మొత్తానికే మనం తప్పించుకోలే ప్రకృతి వైపరీత్యాల నుండి బట్ అట్లీస్ట్ వీ కెన్ రెడ్యూస్ ద ఇంపాక్ట్ ఆ క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ వల్ల క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ జరుగుతుంది మనం ఆపలేము ఎందుకంటే ప్రకృతిని మనము వెన్ వీ ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు యాక్చువల్లీ యు నో యూజ్ ఆఫ్ ద రిసోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎన్వైరన్మెంట్ ఫర్ అవర్ బెనిఫిట్ ఫర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ గుడ్ ఆర్ బ్యాడ్ రీజన్స్ యూ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఎ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద క్లైమేట్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ యూ విల్ హ్యావ్ టు యు నో సీ ద uh uh unusual uh, environmental patterns now this will re- result in natural disasters and then you will have environmental challenges so exactly if there are environmental challenges you should know how to keep up or how to protect yourself from this adverse environmental uh, happenings 
So it is for that reason environmental resilience is very important. Now what factors influence the environmental resilience? So there are many, many factors which, uh, you know, which influence the uh, environmental resilience, which include your biodiversity, your ecosystem services, your climatic variability, your human factors, including the governance, socio-economic conditions, technological innovations, and, influ uh, and, uh, and influence environmental resilience. So in a simple, you put Maramo, uh, aeroplanes ni kanak kuna mu, chala dura long distances ni cover cheyran ki. But e e e aeroplanes valla manam travel ke se time aye the taki poin the gani environmental pollution guda din valla jarur thodi. So if environmental pollution jaradam valla climate changes hostai, climate changes raavadam valla prakruti vai parityya hostai at a larger scale. E prakruti vai parityya lochna puru bit nunchi manam thattko dan gani. Lekunte prakriti vai parityam ai pay na tarvata manam yella manam manam kaapad kawali recover kawali recover kawali ane tels koda me environmental resilience. So understanding environmental challenges. See, I told you climate change ane koni bandi large scale deforestation. Ante but manam chala matter choose to namu i adivi lani kote si manam akada agriculture cheda gani. Lake Unte Akad Ilul Gat Kodangani, Akada Resort Lukatadangani, what a Katadam Valaka Kani Vandi, Lekunte, pollution Valagani. But we know that water pollution Gani, soil pollution Gani, even any pollution Scani, Dinvale Motundi, habitat loss of Motun, Akaduna local environment, Akaduna Prakuti Paranga, Una environment, Chala disturb out. It disturb out of Mala, Manaku environmental challenges of state. This environmental challenges manaku help us to environmental resilience and concept. Now, how do you address these challenges? Ilanti Ochina problems ni ante environmental challenges wala uche prakriti vai paritiala wala manam dini yala manam manamu address chess koali. This is chala chala important. Dini ki koni strategies ipadavarku prakodi chabana propose chia but in a way. What are the strategies? First, manam ecosystem conservation and restoration chess koali. Yapudaite kuni karana wala ecosystem lopala mark los tayo. What in manamu balance out chair daniki, ain't chiali and the manachuda. For example, large scale deforestation outundi and a manamutuna and tilsuna pudu, afforestation chess koda manchida kada. Yes. Similarly, climate adaptation and mitigation manages koali. Sustainable resource management is called. And how do you manage sustainable resources? And the chala important concepts. Then community engagement and introduct and integration. We should also bring in some kind of knowledge among the people and the society and the community. See, if we want to tell people, see, we are using a lot of uh, plastic material which is non-recyclable. So usage of non-recyclable uh, um, plastic material may or in the long term result in environmental changes. So these environmental changes again further lead to change in, uh, you know, creating large scale environmental challenges. And then we'll have to think about environmental resilience. So if we can communicate with the people, and the community. If you want to project locally, pollution, IA, Padar Kalanamana, Manukondi, Lekunta Palana Palana systems can come and chase net, take a pollution, Taku Autundi, and it shifted as an environmental challenge. Radu. But environmental challenge Rana Pudu, environmental resilience and a concept under the other. But since we know that some things are inevitable, so we need to keep ourselves about the uh, and learn about environmental resilience. So now, there are many, many case studies which have been done on uh, environmental resiliences. The case studies demonstrate successful approaches. Our case studies will tell us that environmental resilience chairani ki chala chala methods unnai. And the ecosystem restoration projects chairamu, climate resilient infrastructure bit kodamu, community based adaptive uh, adaption. Adapt, um, adaption or adaptation initiatives chair one it will be essential on it. And these systems thing are follow this net. That means resilient system one it will be very effective. Now, 
what are the challenges in building environmental resilience ante basically ga manam nerchukunnamu ippudu varaku manam ganaka manam konni marpulu chesukunnattaithe ee rakamaina environmental resilience nunchi manam kaapadochu ani anukuntunnam kani deentlo chaala challenges unnai aa chelo environmental resilience manam nerchukunnamandi chaala baagundi we will implement this all uh, parameters in environmental resilience so that we can have a good society we can mitigate the problems anukunte daniki challenges unnai ante first of all environmental resilience policies ni ganaka manam follow kavalante adi chaala labor intensive chaala cost intensive so there are limited resources and there are many 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 institutional barriers there are competing interest ji it is very simple for me to say that do not use plastics let us say it is very easy for me to propagate among the society and say do not use plastics but you know people may come up with lot of questions that what is an alternative the alternative for plastic for using for carrying vegetables and all is using a paper but where does this paper come from paper again comes from the nature it comes from the wood and pulp yeah so again the story is the same if you do not provide alternative options for people then there will be a challenges from the people now thirdly there will be competing interest if i ask and promote people to stop using plastics don't you think that i am stopping a big industry which is producing plastic carry bags don't you think that they will come and challenge my thoughts don't you think that there will be a competing interest between what i say and what the companies are trying to say yes so this is one of the biggest challenge and finally you can have scientific uncertainties and not only that and social inequities yeah so these are the major challenges in building environmental resilience so in a nutshell there could be limited resources there could be institutional barriers there could be competing interests there could be scientific uncertainties and social inequalities which are the four major challenges in building environmental resiliences now what are the opportunities for advancing environmental resilience so the major advances are technological innovation policy reformation public awareness and international cooperation offer new pathways for advancing environmental resilience now leveraging these opportunities can lead to more sustainable and economic systems now what is the role of technology technology ni vaadtu manam environmental resilience ni ela cheyagalugutamu first and foremost is we should accept that technology can play an important role second ela upayogapadutundi we can use remote sensing we we can use gis mapping we can use climate modeling we can use disaster monitoring systems ivanni vaadi prakriti vaiparityalu ela avutayi ekkada ayinayi aithe entha varaku ayinayi adi entha varaku damage create chesindi aa create chesina damage yokka cost impact enta anedipi manam mottamu ee palana palana techniques valla vaadochu remote sensing gis mapping క్లైమేట్ మోడలింగ్ వల్ల మనకు అర్థం అవుతుంది కదా ఫ్యూచర్ లో ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఏం జరగవచ్చు ఎంత వరకు జరగవచ్చు డ్యామేజ్ అయితే ఎంత వరకు డ్యామేజ్ ఉంటుంది ఈ డ్యామేజ్ ని మనం ఏ రకంగా కాంపెన్సేట్ చేయొచ్చు అనేది ఈ డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ టెక్నాలజికల్ ఇన్నోవేషన్స్ వల్ల మనం తెలుసుకోవచ్చు నా దీస్ టెక్నాలజికల్ ఇన్నోవేషన్స్ ఎప్పుడైతే డ్యామేజ్ ని మీరు అట్లీస్ట్ ఒక సర్టన్ లెవెల్ వరకు గెస్ చేయగలుగుతారో అప్పుడు మీరు మేనేజ్మెంట్ కి ఎలా చేస్తే బాగుంటుందని డిసిషన్ తీసుకోగలరు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ క్లైమేట్ మోడలింగ్ వల్ల మీకు అర్థమవుతుంది ఏంటంటే ఇన్ని ఫ్యాక్టరీస్ పెట్టడం వల్ల ఇక్కడ పొల్యూషన్ లో అవుతుంది ఈ ఎన్వైర్న్మెంట్ ఇలా పాడవుతుందని మీరు క్యాల్కులేట్ చేయగలిగితే అప్పుడు మీరు డిసైడ్ చేయగలుగుతారు మనం ఎన్ని కంపెనీస్ ఇక్కడ పెట్టవచ్చు ఎంత లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ పొల్యూషన్ మనం యాక్సెప్ట్ చేయగలుగుతాము ఎందుకంటే కంపెనీస్ లేని జీవితాన్ని మనం ఊహించడం అనేది కాదు we have all moved into modern society where we all need mobile where we all need electricity where we all need different different facilities for improving our quality of life and in this process we are tampering with the society uh, with the nature and tampering with the society leads to adverse effects and adverse effects will lead to finally we will have to come back to environmental resilience okay so i think technology plays a very very important role in bringing about environmental resilience 
నవ్ హౌ డు యూ ఎంగేజ్ ఇన్ ద కమ్యూనిటీ అంటే ఎప్పుడైతే పొల్యూషన్ జరుగుతుంది మనం కమ్యూనిటీని ఎలా ఎంగేజ్ చేయగలుగుతాము కమ్యూనిటీలో వెళ్ళి మనం ఎలా చెప్పగలుగుతాము హౌ డు వీ గో అండ్ కమ్యూనికేట్ విత్ ద పీపుల్ వెర్ యూఆర్ స్టేయింగ్ అండ్ మేక్ దెమ్ మోర్ అవేర్ దట్ ఈస్ సింపుల్ ఈస్ యూ కెన్ గో టు అ కమ్యూనిటీ బిల్డ్ ఇనిషియేటివ్స్ ఫాస్టర్ లోకల్ ఓనర్షిప్స్ బిల్డ్ సోషల్ క్యాపిటల్ అండ్ ఎన్హాన్స్ అడాప్టివ్ కెపాసిటీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మీరు కమ్యూనిటీలో వెళ్ళి ఒక ఒక ఊర్లో కానీ ఒక సముద్ర తీరాన ఉన్న ఊర్లో వెళ్ళి వాళ్ళకు ముందే చెప్పి మనం ఇలా వరదలు వస్తే మనం ఇలా ఉండాలి ఇలా ఇలా వస్తే మనం ఇలా ఉండి ఇలా మనం కాపాడుకోవాలి ఇలా ఇలా మనం ప్లానింగ్ చేసుకున్నట్టయి కమ్యూనిటీలో అవేర్నెస్ తీసుకురాగలిగితే మనము ఈ రెసిలియన్స్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ని పెంచగలుగుతాం నవ్వు కమ్యూనిటీ బేస్డ్ అప్రోచెస్ ఎంపవర్ ఇండివిజువల్స్ and group to participate in decision making process and you know this is a very 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 good initiative community based approaches empower individuals and groups to mana velli oka community lo cheppagaligina ankonde ee ee problems unnai deen valla prakruti lo marpulu vastayi deen valla mana disasters vastayi so vaste mana ela cheyali raakunda mana ela kaapadukovalani telusukodam anedi chaala chaala important factor now how do you put policy into this సి పాలసీ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ పాలసీ ఎవరు తయారు చేస్తారు పాలసీ తయారు చేసేది మన పాలసీ మేకర్స్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ దీస్ పాలసీ మేకర్స్ హూ యాక్చువల్లీ డిసైడ్ ద పాలసీ దే క్రియేట్ లా దే క్రియేట్ పాలసీ అండ్ ఆల్ దట్ నవ్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ హ్యావ్ అ బ్యాలెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద పాలసీ అండ్ హౌ యూ థింక్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఈస్ గుడ్ ఫర్ అండ్ వాట్ మనే దట్ విల్ బి అ రియలీ గ్రేట్ టాస్క్ so integrating environmental resiliation considerations into policy making process local level ga anivandi national level ga anivandi global level ga anivandi for example air pollution ane concept undi nenu india lo chaala rules petti companies ni grow ga anivakunda ha kotta companies ni start cheyakunda chesan anukondi for example chaala chaala rules teesukochi kani pakka deshal nunchi chaala countries peda peda factory lu pettukoni peda peda pollution ante chaala pollution ki ganaka contribute chesthe air aithe move avutundi air ki aithe borders levu dan valle emana labama labam ledhi kada so ee policy for environmental relation, resilience kaani vandi lekunte policies for pollution gaani vandi ee vannitni local level lo national level lo గ్లోబల్ లెవెల్లో డిస్కస్ చేసి వాటి పైన డిసిషన్స్ తీసుకోవడం మంచిది లేకుంటే ఈ ఎన్వైరన్మెంట్ని కాపాడడం అనేది చాలా కష్టం సో పాలసీ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ రిక్వైర్స్ కొలాబరేటింగ్ కొలాబరేషన్ ఎమంగ్ స్టే స్టేక్ హోల్డర్స్ అంటే వాట్ యూ మీన్ బై దిస్ యూ మీన్ దాట్ ఎవ్రీ ఇండివిజువల్ హూ ఈజ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద సిస్టమ్ కంపెనీస్ని మనం ఇప్పుడు మొబైల్ మనం ప్రజలకి మొబైల్స్ కావాలి మొబైల్స్ కావాలంటే మొబైల్ తయారు చేసే కంపెనీలు కావాలి మొబైల్ తయారు చేసే కంపెనీలు కావాలంటే పొల్యూషన్ వస్తుంది మరి మీరు వాడే బ్యాటరీస్ కానీ మీరు వాడే ప్లాస్టిక్ కానీ వాడై పాడైపోయిన మొబైల్స్ నుంచి వచ్చే ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఉంటాయి కదా సో మనము ఒకవైపు ప్రజలని చైతన్యవంతంగా చేస్తూ కంపెనీస్ని కూడా దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకొని ఓవరాల్ సిస్టమ్ని కనుక మనం ఆలోచించి మన లా మేకర్స్కి చెప్పగలిగితే లా మేకర్స్ దాన్ని బట్టి పాలసీ డిసైడ్ చేసి ఒక రెగ్యులేషన్ ఒక ఫ్రేమ్ వర్క్ పెట్టి మనని చాలా సిస్టమేటిక్ వేలో మనకి ముందుకు పో తీసుకోగలుగుతారు అర్థమైందా సో పాలసీ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ రిక్వైర్స్ కొలాబరేషన్ ఎమంగ్ డిఫరెంట్ స్టేక్ హోల్డర్స్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫర్ట్స్ అండ్ అలైన్మెంట్ విత్ సస్టైనబుల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ గోల్స్ సో ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ అవేర్నెస్ రైజింగ్ ద అవేర్నెస్ అండ్ బిల్డింగ్ కెపాసిటీ ఎమంగ్ స్టేక్ హోల్డర్స్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ పాలసీ మేకర్స్ ప్రాక్టీషనర్స్ అండ్ పబ్లిక్ ఈజ్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఫర్ ప్రమోటింగ్ ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ అవుట్ రీచింగ్ ఎఫర్ట్స్ ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు మీకు ఎలాగైతే నేను ఈ ఈ సిస్టమ్ మీద చెప్తున్నాను ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ అంటే ఏంటి ఏమేమి చేస్తే మనం ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియంట్ అవుతాము హౌ కెన్ బి ఇంప్రూవ్ ద ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఇవన్నీ చేయడం వల్ల ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ డూ దట్ ఆల్ టుగెదర్ దెన్ యూ విల్ హ్యావ్ అ గ్రేటర్ గ్రేటర్ ఇష్యూ దట్ మీన్స్ దట్ యూ బి గ్రేటర్ ఇంపాక్ట్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ 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 నచ్చల్ ఇఫ్ ఐ వెర్ టు స్పీక్ అబౌట్ ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ రెసిలియన్స్ ఎన్వైరన్మెంట్ రెసిలియన్స్ ఇస్ ఎసెన్షియల్ for addressing environmental challenging and uh, challenges and promoting sustainability now by understanding the principles of environmental resilience we implement and by implementing effective strategies and collaboration across disciplines and sectors we can make or we can build a more resilient and sustainable future for all so in a nutshell if i were to conclude for your graduate students or who are uh, when I, 
I know that they are very intelligent people, but for a recapitulation, I am just trying to tell you that environmental resilience ante prakriti vai paritya lo jarigiye mundu kani vandi jarigina taravata kani vandi manam yella manad manam prakriti ni mana mana kaapad kunta mo adi environmental resilience. Drendo adi manam environmental resilience. How do we bring about understanding or how do we uh, you know what do you understand by the principles of resilience is uh, is that you are you are trying to implement effective strategies. You are trying to collaborate across disciplines and sectors and thereby we can build a more resilient and sustainable future for all. Okay. So now we will move to the next important topic which is known as environmental justice. What is environmental justice? and how do you promote environmental uh, promote equity and fairness now environmental justice is fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people ante prapanchamlo unna anni vyaktulani irrespective of the color race national origin income development and and all you know bringing them together is what is known as environmental justice now environmental justice context has a very historical background Historically, marginalized communities, particularly low income and communities of color, have borne a disproportionate burden of environmental hazards. Exploitation of poor economic contents is very, 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 you know, uh, has been there in the history. Now, this pattern of environmental injustice reflects systemic inequalities and discriminatory practices. So, what are the environmental inequalities and health disparities? See, exposure to environmental hazards and pollution can lead to adverse health outcomes including respiratory diseases, uh, you know, cancers and developmental disorders. Vulnerable population often face high risk and poorer health outcomes due to environmental injustice. Now, what are the factors? Discriminating, zo discriminatory zoning policies, industrial pollution, lack of access to clean air and water, limited uh, participation in decision making. All these are the factors which are responsible for environmental injustice. Now, what are the movements or how, where, how are the different movements? Environmental justice movements advocates for rights of marginalized communities to a clean and healthy environment. Now, these movements seek to address environmental injustice, promote equitable access to resources and empower communities to participate in environmental decision making. You know, countries like developed countries like USA have legal fair framework for environmental justice. You know, they have passed a, a you know, act called N NEPA. National Environmental Policy Act. We have a similar act in Indian uh, system also. Yeah. So the community-based approach to environmental justice include, uh, you know, empowering the affected communities to advocate for their rights and address environmental injustice. Now these approaches involve grassroots organizations, community-led research, capacity-building initiatives, and partnerships with local organizations and stakeholders. Now, how do you bring about environmental challenges or justice, uh, environmental justice and climate change? Climate change exacerbates existing environmental injustice and disproportionately affects marginalized communities. Now, environmental justice considerations are essential for climate adaptation and mitigation effort to ensure equitable outcomes and resilience for all. Now, what are the government policies and environmental and environmental justice? Which means, how is environmental justice brought about by government policies? See, government policies play a very crucial role in promoting environmental justice and ensuring equitable distribution of environmental benefits and burdens. Right? See, if there is no environmental justice, then you will keep on mining at a place and these mining at a place may result in you know, many hazardous and health effects for the people in that area. Yeah. So it is very essential that to have environmental justice. Yeah. You cannot leave a particular section or a community or a region or a state or a district or a country just because of a particular reason. You have to follow environmental justice. Now, policymakers must prioritize marginalized communities in environmental decision making and allocate resources to address environmental injustice effectively. Now, environmental justice and public health, which means what are the challenges one would have when there would be environmental justice with respect to public health? In the just a few slides, environmental justice is closely linked to public health outcomes as environmental hazards disproportionately affect the health and well-being of marginalized communities. 
Now, addressing environmental injustice is essential for achieving healthy equity and promoting social justice. Now, what are the tools for advancing environmental justice? It's simple. Various tools and approaches are there. Now, firstly, you can have community mappings, participative pro planning processes, legal advocacy, uh, advocacy. All these can help advance environmental justice goals. Now, these tools empower communities to address environmental injustice and promote positive changes. Now, corporate responsibility and environmental justice. Now, corporate entities have a responsibility too because some of the corporate companies, uh, you know, have uh, they they take up maximum amount of natural resources and contribute greatly to the environment pollution. Now, therefore, it is the corporate entities which do also have responsibility to address environmental injustice associated with their operations and supply chains. Now, environmental justice principles guide corporate decision making, accountability and stakeholder engagement and to prevent harm and promote social equity. Yeah. So in a, in a, in a nutshell, if I were to conclude, I would like to say that environmental justice is very essential for achieving equity, fairness and sustainability in environmental decision making and outcomes. Now, by addressing environmental injustice, empowering communities and promoting inclusive policies and practices, we can promote a more just and equitable society for all. So with this, I would like to conclude my presentation. And before that, we should have our missions for, uh, you know, for both of these topics. It is let's work together to promote environmental justice and create a healthier and more equitable world. Let's also work together to build a more resilient and sustainable future. Sustainable future undali uh, and the res environmentally resilient society ni create cheyali plus manam justice environmental justice ni kuda promote cheste ne oka healthier mariyu equitable society avutundi. So with this little presentation I would like to thank my department for all you know allowing me to present this and most of the content that I have taken, uh, you know, I am not the creator of that content. Uh, I have taken the images or in simple, all the original content creators whose images, videos or texts uh, and the links to uh, AI tools that have been used in uh, to uh, that have been used in this presentation to make it effective. I would acknowledge them humbly from the core of my heart. So as a students, I always end my presentation by showing these two pictures. One is from our legend Sachin Tendulkar and other is Vishwanath Anand. Both are leaders in their field and both are worth calling uh, gods in their fields uh, for people who believe. You know, and uh, the only reason uh, for their success, I believe, is that uh, there is no substitute for hard work. So one has to really uh, put in a lot of effort and hard work and there is no substitute for, uh, for this hard work if you want to really succeed in life. Now, I thank you for your kind attention and I end my presentation with this uh, statement which was quoted uh, many times by Swami Vivekananda Garu uh -huh. which is arise awake and stop not till the goal is achieved. So he's a great inspiration to me. I read a lot of uh, uh, lots of work written by Swami Vivekananda and I try to follow him, uh, you know, uh, but uh, you know, I don't know. He's such a great gentleman. Uh, so it's very, 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 you know, high of him. So I consider him, I rever him a lot. And with this, I try to kind of put an end to my presentation. And I leave this presentation for, uh, you know, questions and discussions, if any. So with this, I put an end to, uh, and I, uh, you know, try to click out of this, uh, this thing. And I am open for any uh, questions or any doubts to clarify. Uh, I know this is a basic uh, humble presentation from my side and I again try to reiterate that I am no expert in environmental justice or for that matter in uh, uh, this thing. I have tried my best to you know deliver whatever I could learn from the very uh, informative, uh, very, very little uh, time that I have got. So uh, with this, I like to uh, keep this house open for discussion. Uh, so, uh, may I request Tirupati Garu uh, to uh, open the house for discussion, if any, and then yes. probably we can, uh, uh, you know, go ahead with whatever is planned. Uh, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have given to all the participants. Please unmute yeah. yourself if you have any queries regarding of today's uh, wonderful lecture. Please interact with our eminent speaker. Well, looks like uh, a lot of people have either understood totally or have not understood anything. <laughs> so, I, I but anyways, uh, if there are any still questions, I can wait for a few more minutes. But then, uh, actually, these topics are a higher order topics. So, these topics are very intense topics. And uh, sometimes for uh, graduate students, they may be a little dry, uh, considering the nature of the topic. But they are very significant topics and very important topics which we have chosen uh, so that the students are aware of these topics in uh, in uh, future okay. Sarada madam, you are unmuted, yes, sir. Doubt, Andy? If you have any doubt, please ask our resource person. Anybody else? So, I can see one comment actually from Wazida Begum, madam. Uh, she is saying that it is an informative uh, lecture. Thank you, Wazida, uh, madam ji. And uh, thank you, Sigma Tina. I don't know who is she. Maybe it's a different name. Yeah, but thank you. Uh, See, I tried to do whatever I could learn. I am again, uh, uh, you know, uh, humbly like, uh, I would like to humbly tell you that I am no expert in this area of research, but whatever I could learn and whatever I could deliver is what I did, given the uh, time constraint and all that. Yeah, if there is somebody who has a problem with the mic can also, uh, I am just, uh, you know, scrolling down the chat also to see if there is any question here. Thank you, Sirisha Ponnadagaru. Uh, for uh, your comments. So I think if there are no further questions, uh, Tirupati sir, you can uh, go ahead with the firm. Uh, what is what is the next plan of thing that you want to do? Okay, thank you very much, sir. Now, this is the session for the uh, vote of thanks. Uh, Indu Madam Garu. Indu Madam Ji. Good, mor good, good morning, sir. Good morning, okay. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah, you are audible, madam. Uh, please uh, proceed. A, a pleasant good afternoon to all, one and all. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. I am Indu Jadi, lecturer in political science, Department of Education, ITEP, in Government Degree College for La in Lakshadweep. It's my honor, sir, and privilege to propose a vote of thanks for to all for being a part of this wonderful event and making it a grand success. First and foremost, our sincere thanks to the eminent persons and chief patrons of this webinar, Dr. Jaykishan Oja, sir, Principal of Government Degree and PG College, Lakshadweep. And Dr. Y. Satyanarayana, sir, Principal of Government Degree College for Women, Jagityal, for addressing the event. And your presence has boosted our energy, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And I would like to express our sincere thanks and gratitude to our keynote speaker, Dr. Surya Prakash G. Ponnam, sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, Tejpur University, Assam. For, sh for sharing expertise, knowledge, and valuable insights with us, sir, the importance of environment and the factors influencing the environment and challenges to environment like climate change, deforestation, pollution, etc., and also explained about the strategies to mitigate the challenges and effects of plastic usage, 
and well explained about the pathways to environmental resilience, role of technology in enhancing environmental resilience, community-based approaches, and uh, education, environmental education and awareness programs, and most importantly, environment justice and its factors too. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your valuable information. And it's really a very informative session, sir. And we are um, looking forward for further sessions in the future. Thank you so much, sir. And I would like to extend a special thanks to the convener of this web webinar, Dr. Padal Tirpati, sir, Assistant Professor of Botany and Coordinator of ITEP, Department of Education, for addressing about all the national webinars and sessions uh, con conducted previously. And co-conveners, Dr. K. Kiranmai, Madam, Assistant Professor of Zoology. And co-patrons, Dr. A. Jyoti Lakshmi, Ma'am, Associate Professor, Sri G. Chandraya, Sir, Head of the Department of Botany. And Srimati P. Savita, Ma'am, Head of the Department of Botany. And all the participants who are being present here with your patience, thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tirpati, sir, for giving me such a great opportunity on this event. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope the session is very enlightened. All the participants are rich what you are expected from this webinar because of sir has very, very busy with the uh, his duties and also the election work, even though Sir has given his uh, valuable time, even though today is a holiday for us. So we hope uh, the all the participants, all the dignitaries, this is a, uh, uh, a wonderful time and appreciate appreciable moment uh, of our keynote speaker and also thankful to our uh, keynote speaker Dr. Surya Prakash Ji Ponamgaru, Assistant Professor, Department of Biotechnology and Molecular Biology, uh, Central University, Sagepur University, Nopam, Assam State. So we are very much of, uh, happy and thankful to you, sir, forever. In future endeavor, uh, we expected from your side, sir. So as usual, no doubt at all, sir, because of your kind-hearted, your uh, visionary and your interaction with me, I definitely uh understood sir and also thank you sir and uh, my uh, today's uh, patterns of both the colleges as a calendar i am once again uh thanks to each and every participant along with the uh, co-patterns so thank you very much so with all your permission uh our session will going to wind up thank you sir namaskar and jehin i would love to come to your uh you know this uh, college once and uh, you know see you in person it's been long time yeah we'll we'll try to see that uh, that materializes someday thank you sir thank you very much uh, so may i leave may i leave now yes sir with with pleasure with pleasure sir thank you thank you very much bye so all the participants once again i am suggesting you please fill the feedback link if you have any problem regarding of the filling of this uh, uh, feedback link now, please uh, interact with me. Please send uh, once again a uh, message. Definitely, I will send feedback link. So, online uh, certificate will uh, reach you through your working mail. Okay. Thank you very much. So, please uh, fill the feedback. Then only you mail you. Thank you for your kind cooperation, all the dignitaries of different uh, states of our sacred nation. Thank you very much. Kiran Mai Madam Gar. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam Gar, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank special, you to all. Thank you, sir. Special thanks to the, all the organizing committee members and uh, my principals, both the college principals, Dr. Jay Kishan Oja, sir, uh, from a principal from Government Degree College, Degree and PG College, Lakshadweep, Manchiral District. So why? Because this is one and only college uh, for um, organizing uh, this uh, integrated teacher education program. 
So all the participants, once again, I am requesting you and, and inform you, the people, those who are interested, uh, please uh, inform them in Telangana State, one and only government degree PG college is going to um, conducting this integrated teacher education program, Department of Education. Uh, already 2024 uh, 25 notification has uh, come. So uh, please uh, inform them and uh, help them, the needy people or needy students, the people, those who are completed their intermediate education. So this course is very useful and valuable because of all the central universities and uh, NITs, National Institute of Technologies are organizing these uh, programs, are conducting these programs. So the course only run in only government degree college in Telangana, that is uh, government degree and PG college lecture page. So this is uh, for your kind information. Uh, in this regard, we wholeheartedly thankful to uh, our principal, uh, Government Degree College for Women, Jagityal, Dr. Vais Satinarayanagaru, Yamsani Satinarayanagaru. Thank you very much uh, for giving me such a valuable uh, suggestions and encouragement for conducting this program. And also thankful to the pattern of today's uh, program, uh, Dr. Jaikishan Oja, sir, uh, Principal Government Degree and PG College, Rakshatipet, uh, who ever supporting and encouraging uh, organizing these type of programs, uh, this flag, flagship programs are the uh, emerging uh, programs, needy programs and uh, what is uh, going on in the present scenario because of very recently, uh, last month, uh, 18th March, we are conducted, organized one of the national workshop on the lesson plans, especially lesson plans for the, the water day, on water day, water fruit rich, and uh, uh, how to avoid a single use plastic. So this is the, one of the most important topic. So all the participants, they are very enlightened. Uh, so thank you very much, sir. And uh, this is a uh, uh, few words regarding of, uh, this uh, program. So thanks to all the organizing committee members, especially the Apuro Madam Garu, who uh, started this uh, um, program as anchoring for the completion of this program. And also the vote of thanks the uh, by Hindu Madam Garu and also the links, uh, registration links and uh, the feedback link has sent by uh, Vinay Kumar uh, sir. Uh, I tip these uh, faculty members related to our integrated teacher education program. So because of they are in, in the uh, budding time, they are nurturing time. Definitely, they are very enlightened in the uh, umbrella, un under the umbrella of the Dr. Jay Kishan Oja, sir, definitely, no doubt at all. Uh, thank you very much, sir. And uh, Dr. K. Kiranmai Madam Gar, who uh, proposed the introduce uh, keynote speaker in twice, uh, Dr. K. Kiranmai Madam. Uh, I am heartfully say that she is very, very hard worker, very dynamic personality. Whoever thinking about the people, uh, came over from the uh, different uh, localities and very rural background, very remote areas and very backward uh, areas and the below poverty line areas. She is very uh, much of interested to upward, uplift the students for their uh, better future. So that's why I'm very much uh, uh, happy and also inspiring uh, from Dr. K. Kiranmai Madam Garu. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, she always told me, uh, along with uh, students, uh, our parents also one of the most important because of without parents, uh, we are nothing. So always be with uh, parents and also uh, uh, suggestions from our parents. Definitely we follow the suggestions. What type of uh, suggestions uh, came over from our parents? And also thankful to one and only associate professor in government degree college for women, Jagityal, Dr. A. Jyoti Lakshmi Madam Garu. She is one of the very senior most uh, faculty member, uh, head department of zoology, and also the Green Audit Cell convener uh, and uh, health club convener in GDC W Jagitya. She is a uh, very senior most, and also, even though she encouraged me uh, uh, conducting such a wonderful webinars and the programs within the college campus, always encouraging me. Thank you very much. Uh, 
జ్యోతిలక్ష్మి మేడం గారు ఆయన డాక్టర్ జి చంద్రయ్య సార్ ఈజ్ హెడ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ బాట్నీ గవర్నమెంట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ ఉమెన్ జగిత్యాల్ హీఈస్ అనేబుల్ టు జాయిన్ టుడే జస్ట్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ రిమోట్ ఏరియా అనేబుల్ టు జాయిన్ డ్యూ టు ది ఇంటరప్టెడ్ నెట్ ఇంటరప్షన్ సో సార్ హెజ్ మెసేజ్ మీ జస్ట్ నౌ సో థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ డాక్టర్ జి చంద్రయ్య సార్ ఆల్వేస్ ఎంకరేజింగ్ మీ యాజ్ ఎ బ్రదర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ అండ్ ఆల్సో థ్యాంక్ఫుల్ టు ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ కమిటీ మెంబర్స్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ శ్రీమతి పి సవిత మేడం గారు హెడ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ బాట్నీ జిడిసి లక్షటిపేట్ షీఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ ఎంకరేజింగ్ మీ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఐడెంటిఫైడ్ ఈజ్ అ వెరీ డైనమిక్ పర్సనాలిటీ బట్ దట్ గ్రేట్నెస్ గోస్ టు సవిత మేడం గారు బికాస్ షీఈస్ వెరీ ఎల్డర్ టు మీ అండ్ ఆల్సో షీఈస్ వెరీ హార్డ్ వర్కర్ అండ్ ఐక్యూఎస్సి కోఆర్డినేటర్ ఇన్ జిడిసి లక్షటిపేట్ ఇన్ ది గై అండర్ ది గైడెన్స్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ జై కిషన్ ఓజా సార్ పి సవిత మేడం హ్యాస్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ కంప్లీటెడ్ దేర్ నాక్ అక్రిడేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ అండ్ దే గాట్ ఇన్ జిడిసి లక్షపేట్ గాట్ ది ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ నాక్ గ్రేడ్ బి గ్రేడ్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ది అప్రిసియేబుల్ మూమెంట్ అండ్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్ టు సవిత మేడం గారు అండ్ ఆల్సో యు ఆర్ ఆల్సో ఇన్స్పైరింగ్ మీ ఫర్ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ డ్యూ టు యువర్ హెల్త్ కండిషన్ యు ఆర్ అనేబుల్ టు జాయిన్ మేడం సో ఎనీవే థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ అండ్ వినయ్ కుమార్ సార్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద ఆర్గనైజింగ్ కమిటీ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ బోత్ ద కాలేజెస్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ విత్ యువర్ పర్మిషన్ ఐ విల్ గోయింగ్ టు వైండ్ అప్ సో దోస్ హు ఆర్ నాట్ ఫిల్ ద ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లింక్ వినయ్ సార్ ప్లీజ్ సెండ్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లింక్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది మెంబర్స్ దే ఆర్ జాయింట్ జస్ట్ నౌ ప్లీజ్ రీసెండ్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లింక్ వన్స్ అగైన్ వినయ్ వినయ్ కుమార్ సార్ ఓడేటి రైట్ so those who are not fill the feedback link uh, please uh, use this google form for filling the feedback link and uh, uh, you will uh, get the online certificate through your mail thank you very much Thank you.